Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the vlog. I just want to thank you guys so much for the overwhelming like support that I received in the last vlog. Um, just kind of talking about my anxiety and all of that. I don't claim anxiety, um, but I do get anxious at times. I don't feel like I have an issue with anxiety, like it needs to be medicated because I've seen what that looks like and I wouldn't put myself in that category, but I do feel like, um, like many of you all said, you know, this is such a weird time for all of us and we're all just processing so many things at once and it's inevitable to feel some type of way. And I think uh, mainly it was just me having cabin fever, just to be honest with you. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm so, I'm not happy that we can relate but it does feel good to know that you're not alone. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all so much for just like the kind words. I wasn't able to get to everyone. Um, and I honestly didn't even watch the vlog back because I don't want to revisit that space. <laughs> you know, it can kind of put you in a bad mood. But as you can see, I am in good spirits. Um, I was in good spirits towards the end of um, the last vlog because I've been getting out a lot more. So you're going to see all of that in this vlog. Um, I'm just going to be kind of running a few errands in this vlog. Um, I also, what else am I going to do? I'm hanging out with friends again. So you're going to see that, which is always just a vibe, you know, love getting with my soul friends. And also I want to show you guys some pieces from Boohoo. And this vlog is sponsored by Boohoo. So thank you so much, Boohoo, for sending me over a few pieces. Um, I didn't want to do a full video on these pieces for the simple fact that um, I don't have a lot and they're not really like matchy pieces to like style up. But I did, do have a couple um, that I really like and then a couple that eh, I'm a little so-so about. I have a pair of shoes that I have to show y'all that's like... <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Let's start with the try on. First. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and switched on my regular camera because the angle is just a little bit better. But the first, okay, cohort, because this set did come together. And I love the color of this, you guys. So it's kind of like this vanilla butter scotch kind of color. Or am I overdoing it? I don't know. Um, I have a pair of Zara shoes that are like this exact same like yellowy vanilla color and it is like a crop top so I'm gonna come closer. Okay so you can see it's a little crop top and it has a band here. All right? Really cute. Now here are the pants. Now y'all know I'm only 5'1 so they're always like long in the seat. I just don't like how long this is so I'm gonna roll mine like this let's see yeah so I'm just gonna roll mine like this but they do have like a paper bag style which I love I didn't even mention that this top you can like tie it a little tighter um, but I have on my shaper underneath here which if you haven't watched my Nordstrom sale anniversary recommendations watch that because that's where that is. Um, but obviously I would wear this without the shaper and just kind of show a teensy bit of midriff. But if you're short like me, you can see if you're not comfortable with showing your midriff, you don't have to because you can't even see anything underneath. It kind of just looks like a jumpsuit. Love the fact that it has pockets and they're just regular joggers. You can see that like at the bottom. Super cute, you guys. Let's see. Can you see the full thing? I think you can. This is so cute and so comfortable. Now, the material on this, you guys, I'm actually impressed with the material on this. It is really soft. It feels like decent quality, honestly. It's really soft, it's not too thick. So you can definitely wear this um, working from home, around the house, or if you need to run out, you absolutely can. I think you can kind of dress it up if you wanted to. Let me actually, should I pull out those Zara heels to see if that'd be a thigh? Maybe I will. Let me tie this little thing up. I'm going to pull out the Zara heels and see if that's cute. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So I added the Zara heels. And you can see, like, you can, if you wanted to, dress this up. I would just wear some sneakers or something with this because it's not that deep. But if you wanted to, you can definitely do heels with this. Um, and, yes, I do wish that I could wear them like this. 
um, but that's just way too long of a seat for me. So the roll down is just going to have to work. But what do you guys think about this little set? It's really soft, you guys. Like, trust me, it's really soft and comfortable. Okay, y'all. So, of course, I would not wear these together. But I did pick up a blazer. And I'm really feeling blue these days. But this blazer is just a little larger than I would like. Um, I got this in a size 14. I mean, it fits. But it's like, it's, it doesn't really give me much shape. You know? But it's okay. Let me know what you guys think about it. Of course, it's like Balmain inspired. They do a lot of the Balmain type of inspired blazers on Boohoo. Um, but yeah, the color is beautiful. I would definitely like scrunch up the sleeves because girl, who just wears a full sleeve blazer, honey? So I definitely want to scrunch these sleeves up and you can get a little bit more of a vibe. So yeah, this is the blazer. Let me know what you guys think about it. And of course, you know, if it's not double breasted, I don't want it. So love that with the gold buttons on it. Super cute, right? And of course, I think they have like a few other colors in this. So cute. Okay, y'all. So now you can see why I did not do a full on styling, okay, of the pieces because yeah so i have this chiffon polka dot top right so i had plans for this i was going to do a polka dot on polka dot look as you can see the pants are polka dot as well i was going to give you a red lip honey it was going to be a vibe mm -hmm. so the top i like i do like the top but it's small now i could tell from the picture that it's very you know it shows a lot of cleavage but i thought that it would cover just enough but no this is meant to like really show off your boobs you want to just tape them up and just wear the boobs out not for me and then i have these pants now these are in a size 12 and guys they are really big these are really large so the top is smaller than i would like and the pants are larger than i would like um so it's really not the vibe and you can see how you see this how it just keeps opening i don't like that it's supposed to be tucked like that so it shows a lot of cleavage but the concept could have been really cute you know but it just doesn't really fit me all that well the pants are stretchy in the waistband but they're like a thin crepe material these are definitely see-through if you do decide to get these um just keep that in mind and they run big you know they really do i could have gone a 10 in these and I'm nowhere near a 10 at the moment okay I'm like a 14 so um yeah this could have been a vibe but it's, it's just not hitting like that and this is like like I said a chiffon top I love the sleeves just this with a red lip would have been every single thing but it just didn't work out for me guys so here are my last two pieces and I love this top how cute is this top but because it has these like stretchy things on the buttons you could see my bra straight through it and I hate that because this could actually pull together with no problem and it's supposed to have gathering here so it's so cute it's a crop top puff sleeves you guys know I love puff sleeves so I love this um love the color love the cut like it shows cleavage but not too much but these buttons are just not it girl so I don't know maybe I just need to wear like no I, I, what are your recommendations <laughs> let me know um here are some jeans now i've had my eye on jeans like this i'm gonna step all the way back can you see these with the slits on the side and these aren't bad okay they're not bad they're not perfect but they're not bad these are a size us 12 but they don't have any stretch whatsoever and for them not to have any stretch like i can breathe you know what i'm saying but we have this issue in the back where it just shows you know so definitely would have to wear a belt with these but other than that can you guys see like the jeans are nice i'm not mad at these at all so definitely with another top um like a little tie up top or something i think this would be super cute with these and yeah also here's another thing that i don't too much care for the zip fly like it's a little long see how it does all this extra at the bottom like it zips from here but then we have this as well 
that's not my favorite but a lot of uh you know affordable jeans do that so it is what it is but again i'm short too so the seat is just long period you know um but i absolutely love this top you guys i really wish it worked but i need some buttons or something else on the side for it to work like you know it's just now 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 it's so cute though love this top but if you guys can fit it make sure honey make sure you get it because it's cute okay guys so here are the white sandals i'm gonna insert like a clip of them on my feet but these are the white sandals you guys know i've been trying to do the like in between my toe thing these work because of how they are shaped it's weird like it's not just like dead in between my toe you know so my big toe kind of stops this from going all the way in between my toe you'll see but these are really cute guys first of all <laughs> this is it look at the heel look at the heel they're definitely giving jacquemus vibes right look at that heel so nice right i love the detailing on these and then they're just like simple white sandals love these got these in a size uk5 european 38 us size 7 so love these hey okay, y'all so these are the jacquemus dupe shoes and i'm liking them a lot y'all these are super comfortable i am shocked because y'all know i can't do the like thong thing so these look really good like so good the only issue i have with these is that i guess i have smaller ankles because why well, do i have small ankles and i guess small wrists but this strap is loose can you see that like it's kind of loose so i need to add a hole but other than that i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with these super easy to walk in just really cute and i just y'all the way that white looks on our skin tone it ain't nothing like it it ain't nothing like it so I just want to thank Boohoo for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Make sure to check out that description box for all the links that are still available, you guys. I've had these pieces for a little minute, so I'm hoping whatever you're interested in is still available. Um, but yeah, some cute pieces. So, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog. Hey, y'all. So it's the next day, and I did end up getting me a car yesterday. So yeah, I did not leave the dealership until... It was like 9.30, okay? And I got there at 4. So, <laughs> I don't know what they be doing in there. I don't know what they be like taking baths or what in the back, child. But it takes forever. But anyway, um, today is Saturday. My mom is grilling. And I love grilled food, so I can't wait. I also got some blind buys in. Um, I allowed my subscribers to pick out three designer fragrances. So, I'm going to film that video because I want to smell them ASAP. Um, but I want to do like a first impression. So I'm about to get ready. I'm actually doing a ponytail today. I've been in a ponytail mood. I had my bun yesterday, my top bun, uh, that's really big. And today I think I'm going to do like a lower ponytail. So I'm having my hair kind of mold right now, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and I'll talk to y'all when I get done. Okay. Y'all. So I just finished, um, the ring light is on. I just finished filming my blind buy haul look at my necklace what was if my necklace was looking like this the whole time i'm gonna be mad but anyway here are the fragrances i gotta show y'all first okay mongrelon oh look at my look at all these clothes in the back child we have tom ford metalique and dior addict and i allowed you guys to pick all of these fragrances for me and I ain't gonna lie, stay tuned to the video though. But y'all did a good job, a good job. <laughs> but anyway, I need to go and um, change clothes because I'm about to go to my mom's house and eat some barbecue, girl, eat some barbecue. So I'll talk to y'all. All right, y'all, so I got changed into just like a little tank top dress. Um, I wanna show y'all something. So you see my body glistening and stuff like that. I wanna show y'all this black owned brand that I have actually been using since 2017, but I don't know why I've never really shared it. I think I did in a favorites when I first stumbled upon them, but I'm gonna show y'all today. Okay, so the company's name is LV. And when I first discovered them in 2017, it was through the Glam Twins. And I had, I think it was Girls Night Out. At the time I got like a little sample kit. So it was two of them, it was Girls Night Out 
and date night, I believe. I can't remember, but I've loved the brand since. And I re-upped recently. First of all, the Shea Butter is the best texture. It is so light and whipped. Oh my goodness. Um, I wish I would have showed y'all before I put it on because I don't want to waste any. But anyway, I went ahead and I picked up two more body um, Shea Butters. And this is Gold Getter which is very light. I'm wearing that today. Anytime I'm wearing a fragrance, I wear this one because it's very light, soft, vanillic type of scent, but not overly powering at all. It's kind of fresh as well. Then Girls Night Out is definitely a scent. So you have to make sure that that, you know, goes with your fragrance. But I also picked up a full like set and this was new to me. So the set came with all of this, y'all. So you get the Shea Body Oil, the Shower Gel with Shea Butter. You get a body butter and you also get a brown sugar scrub for the bath. So love that. And it all comes in one fragrance. So like if you choose Gold Getter, all of these will be in Gold Getter. If you choose Girls Night Out, all of these will be in, you know, that. So FYI, check them out. Um, I will have the link in the description box. Black owned business, amazing products. Go support them. All right, so my boyfriend is finally here and we are going to head to my parents' house. Y'all, I got me a Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Mm. So freaking good. Um, I'm also gonna take my computer so I can edit at my mom's house because ain't no telling what time we'll be back. So anyway, he is here. Let me go. Okay, y'all. So I made it over my parents' house and this is the ribs. It's like four slabs in there, I think. Right, mama? What is this? Turkey burger. Oh, we got pineapples. Turkey burgers and beef burgers. Baked beans. Can't get it. They've been in the oven, so that's barbecue sauce. And we have steaks in the oven. They'll be ready in a snack. And he already chomping. That part. Nobody else is eating. You know, that it's not part. rude at all. That part. <laughs> Here are the steaks. Of course, cast iron skillet steaks. Can't wait to grow. I think when the last time we went, these guys kept complimenting me on my shirt. They were like, oh my gosh, I love that shirt so much. You got it from Forever 21, didn't you? Oh my. But they had it. Y'all, we are drinking. My it daddy made these here. margaritas and they're so freaking strong. I think all of us have had maybe what? One. 10 sips and. Oh, oh no, I'm done with mine. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm done with mine. You're done. Yeah, you're drunk. I'm not done. Cheers. How I'm much you got, Lil? Let me see yours. Oh, you doing better than me. Yeah. I can tell you twisted though, your eyes so low. I saved this picture because they had the same shirt. Aaron had the same shirt. As oh yeah, that. <laughs> yes, and this was short on Aaron because it's a girl shirt. <laughs> it was, it was everything. Hey, you guys, happy Monday. I'm out here looking like a little boy. Oh, child, it's hot. What is the degrees? It's 92 degrees, y'all. Anyway, um, I'm about to run a few errands today. Um, I need to go by Target and I need to go to the beauty supply store. I need to get some bleach from the beauty supply store. And then I need to go by Target. I just need to pick up some essentials like deodorant and things like that. So yeah, actually I may go by Home Goods as well. Um, do I have my mask? Oh yeah, I got a fresh one. Perfect. Um, what else? I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'll bring you guys along with, and we see, we'll see what we can find. Um, I really do wanna find a few like planters. I've been having the hardest time. I just want like a pretty gold planter with um, legs or the stand, the gold stand. I did find one at one Home Goods over the weekend, but it was only one, I need two. So I'm gonna go and see to another home goods and see if I can find the matching one. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I will talk to y'all a little bit later when we get to our destinations. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the car. Um, I got my bleach. I actually went to a black owned beauty supply store here. It's called Roots, so support black. And I just got some regular 
bleach. What is this? Yeah, the BW2. I usually use the Quick Blue by Clairol, but they didn't have the big tub. And I don't want to have to keep coming back. So, y'all know I'm always wearing a wig, y'all. So, you never know when you need to bleach those. Not so you may want to do some highlights or something. So, yeah. I just hand sanitize, but let me do it again. And, uh, what's next? I think I'm going to go to Target now. See what I can find. Hopefully, I can get all of this done within the next hour so I can get back to work. <laughs> I will hopefully bring y'all in Target because I'll probably be in there a little bit longer. Even though, I mean, y'all know what Target looks like. Okay, y'all, so I'm in Target. And I think I'm going to try these. I think these are the Target brand, Good and Gather. The Strawberry Mango Sparkling Water. It has zero calories. But then I also thought about the Spindrift, which I think I've had before, but it has nine calories. So, I don't know. I can't remember if I've had that before though. I don't think I like LaCroix. I don't think I really like any of them, but I want to try and see if I can get into it because it'll help me out a lot. <laughs> I don't really do sodas, but I do be wanting a little juice every now and then, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm gonna try this strawberry mango. Hopefully it's good. Uh, or should I get that one up there for 99 cents? Huh. Ah, I don't know. Ooh, y'all. This heat? No. I've already hand sanitized and stuff before I take my mask off. But it makes me sweat so bad. Oh, annoying. Oh, I hate it. Now on to home goods, child. I'm ready to go home because it's so dang on hot. So freaking hot. I also bought me another car mount. So, uh, We'll see if that works. Hopefully it does. I don't feel like doing it right now. Oh shoot, I should have to go the other way so I can get on the end of the day. Yeah, that way. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can um vlog when we get to home goods, y'all. It's hot AF, like for real for real. I'm over it. <laughs> Hi! Yay! Yeah, yeah. Are these the perfect pillow? I know a lot of you guys were trying to find the fig jam. Um, I'm gonna try this one today because I don't feel like going to the grocery store. I hope Confitura di Fici fig jam. <laughs> I hope that just means regular fig jam, but they have different ones. This one has walnuts. I don't like nuts. Um, so I'm gonna try that. I don't think it matters the brand. They have a couple different ones. Here's another one. So yeah. Just an FYI, guys. Y'all, why are these ducks like living their best lives? <laughs> they are crossing the street and everything. Look at this. Hilarious. That is one thing about ducks, honey. You will not brush them, period. <laughs> oh, y'all. I'm on my Dunkin' Donuts again. So what I'm going to do is give me an iced coffee, drink a little bit right now, and then um, I'll put it in the fridge so that when I get home, I can finish working, probably have some lunch, 
and then I'll drink that to give me some energy for tonight's video. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Um, so, <laughs> that was hectic. Dunkin' Donuts has the best caramel macchiatos, but this is going to be my last time getting one. Um, I got one this past weekend, and it was every single thing. But, oh, freaking hand sanitizer. I touch Monday. Um, yeah, it was so good. But I thought today I was going to try to come and see if they had a um, sugar-free option, and they do not. So that's it for the Dunkin' because I can't do, I need a little sweetener and they don't have any caramel that is unsweet. So even if we did Splenda, it wouldn't have the flavoring, you know what I'm saying? So today is the last day. I also like how it's such an experience. Look at the cute straw. I love that. Let's see how good it is. Hallelujah! Yes. Mm. Good coffee. Ooh, they ain't nothing like it. Ooh, there's nothing like it. So refreshing. Now, y'all know I usually don't do such light coffee. That's poor child. This is, you know, a bottle for a kid with milk in it. Um, but Dunkin' Donuts coffee is so good that it never tastes watered down, you know? Or overly milky. So, anyway, I'm about to go home, y'all. Finish up work. Let's see what I'm going to do with this head so I can get my video filmed tonight. So I'm talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all. So, I just opened up this drink i did get the strawberry mango and it smells good but i'm nervous because i definitely don't want this to taste like artificial sweetener i probably should have looked at that i don't think it does okay chalet don't taste like nothing it tastes like the essence of strawberry mango but the flavor there's nothing there It's a, I mean, definitely nice and fizzy. It'll be good with some alcohol. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna put her right back in the fridge. <laughs> Any hoodle, child, I'm tired. I have to steam so many clothes. Let me show y'all how many Zara boxes I have. Don't judge me though, please. Okay, this is one. There's like one H&M piece in there, but I'm not gonna show that obviously. And there are the others. Look at all that. It's just a mess. I gotta steam all these clothes and hang them up. Oh Lord. Honey, YouTube, they say YouTube easy. It ain't. <laughs> hey y'all. Look, I probably done had like five or six hairstyles in this vlog, okay? I'm trying to get the footage together y'all, okay? I'm trying because I don't do anything, so I'm just picking up the camera when I think about it, and I'll just compile it all together. Um, but I just did a hair tutorial, girl. I did my hair. I'm feeling very <laughs> wifey-like. I mean, this is such a modest do. It came like 24 inches, but I cut her up, you know, into like a girl next door cut. I did some layers and curls. I haven't worn my hair like this in a very long time. It's very much so 2015. And I'm here for it. I feel like I need like some French chips or something, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm letting my battery charge because I'm finally <laughs> going to do my Zara haul. Huh. Y'all have been dreading it, okay? I've been dreading it. Ooh, this hair look a little fleck. She look a little fleck. Um, but yeah, I'm also wearing a fragrance today. I'm wearing Metalik. One of my new faves. Look at all this mess. Um, one of my new faves. It's cute for every day. I don't have to think about it. I just pick it up. It's not going to offend me. It's not too strong. It has a vanilla dry down. Love that. I was on the fence about it um, when I initially 
did my like blind buy fragrance haul because it comes out very cold and very metallic but the dry down is good and it don't take long on the skin to dry down so yeah <laughs> that was me slapping my thigh come on um let me just show y'all this real quick honey miss kiki palma is on cosmopolitan serving all the black girl realness loving that i just love kiki she could be a lot for some but i just love it i just love her Y'all, she, she has this uh, commercial where she's talking about Olay body wash. And she was like, come to find out, it was my body wash. That is my favorite part. I don't know why. I just I have to repeat it every time she says it. Look, my energy is on 10,000 right now because I'm drinking coffee. Let me show y'all. <laughs> y'all know after the cleanse, everything hit different. Look at closet a mess. Everything's a mess. Duncan, she's a Dunkin' Donuts girl. She's a Dunkin' Donuts girl. Um, but yeah, so I get the caramel macchiato. It has three caramel swirls in there. It's nice. However, comma, this is a treat because they, um, I think I mentioned this the other day. They don't have, they don't have sugar-free caramel. So this ain't sugar-free, okay? So yeah but this is a cup of coffee this is what you pay for this is what you pay for look at this nice big old cup i mean it lasts you for a couple days if you really wanted it to but yeah letting my battery charge up real quick hey y'all happy sunday so oh, you can see my flowers back there my boyfriend got me some flowers just because i love pink and white roses my favorite um so they're so beautiful and i can smell them in this room but right now I'm about to put some shoes on because I'm going to run to the mall. Um, I need to, what do I need to do? <laughs> I need to take something back to H&M. My closet is such a mess, y'all. I need to take something back to H&M. Um, I also need to, I want to go buy Tiffany's. <laughs> I've been having my eye on something. Um, what else? I need to do a little day. Is it raining? Hold on, y'all. It's raining a little bit. That sucks. <sighs> Whatever. Um, right now, I'm figuring out what fragrance I want to wear. Hmm. I was thinking Chanel. Oh, so fresh because it's really hot. But maybe Delina Exclusive. Let me see. Sometimes she's a little too creamy and heavy. Let me see if I can prop y'all up real quick. I could probably do this since it's raining and it's not like too sunny. If I want to feel girly today. I wear Delina when I want to feel really girly because this is such a pretty girl like scent, you know. It's like a very girly scent. Um, so that's that. Oh. I'm gonna wear my new Chanel's today. Well, it's raining, so should I even wear these? But it's probably gonna get sunny again. I love these, you guys. I picked these up the other day. How freaking cute. So they say Chanel across the top. It's like a classic sunglass. So I love like a small sunglass with the cat eye, but these are not like extremely small. So they look really good on and they will last for years. You can see how they look. It's such a vibe. My hair is in there, but yeah. I love these so much. Perfect everyday sunglass. Like, love them. So yeah, maybe I'll take them just in case. The case is humongous. That's one thing I don't care for. I know the lighting in here is pretty bad. The case is so big, y'all. Um, So it doesn't fit in any of my handbags for real. Do I wanna wear a headband today? Hmm. I feel real plain. Of course, I'm not wearing makeup because I have to mask up. Maybe I'll give this headband today. Oh, that's scary. This headband only really works when I'm wearing like 
a wig because I have the smallest head. And y'all, when I tell you, this headband be falling straight down on my nose. I hate it. Wait, how do I, how do I wanna wear it? Yeah. Uh, is it gonna get on my nerves? I can't tell. See, if I don't wear my sunglasses, at least I have this accessory on, you know? So I'm just gonna wear my watch. Um, and that's probably it. It's raining. No need for, I kind of look weird with this on today right now. Like I'm not really giving a look for this headband. I have to look at my full outfit to see. Do I need to put some earrings on? Maybe I'll put my, um, I'm all over the place. Maybe I'll put my little Chanel earrings on to give it a little something. Or maybe just studs. These are my favorite Chanel's. Let's see. Nah, I think I'm gonna just do regular studs. <clears throat> Ooh. Y'all, I hate when it rains. It just really ruins the day. I want to get in, have the sunroof open, sunglasses on. You know, living my best life, listening to tunes. My mom got me a, a mask. It's really cute. Well, she got several of them. Here's one. This is just a plain black one with a filter. Um, and then she also got me a black sequin mask. So I'm bringing that. But I'm also taking my disposable one too. <laughs> just because, I don't know, I'm used to that one. So I don't know how the um, sequence one's gonna feel. Okay, come on. Why don't you wanna get on? So being that it's raining, I don't know how the vlogging is gonna go today, but I'm gonna head to the mall and yeah, I'll talk to y'all yeah, later. So I'm about to go in Pier 1. They're having a closing down sale, what do you call it? <laughs> Going out of business sale. So I'm gonna go in here and see what I can find. sweating behind this mask y'all so i'm about to um jeez louise let me put some hand sanitizer on but yeah i bought a few things i need to wipe my face i bought a few um compass grass and those gold leaves that i showed y'all i just need to find me a nice vase i saw a vase in there but it was $119, and I'm like, I could probably do better at home goods or um, raw. So, I may go by there at some point. But anyway, now I'm headed to H&M. Like I was supposed to. So, I saw this big old sign, and I was like, oh, girl, let me stop out here. I need to tell my mom about this because she's been looking for pompous grass as well. And their pompous grass is just a little bit more glam. And you know, we like a little glam, honey. So, oh, it's so hot. So it was just raining, y'all. Now, see, I forget I got this like backup camera. Um, it was just raining, now it is 92 degrees. I'm a, um, Talk to y'all when I get in the mall. Bye.
y'all. So I'm out of H&M. Got some things. <laughs> I'll show y'all when I get home, y'all. It's so hot. Woo, it's so hot. But, um, yeah, they had a like 20% off of everything that was on sale. And then I had like a few rewards. So I got quite a bit without spending too much. So like I said, I'll show y'all later. What's up y'all? So I just want to update y'all real quick because I finally got the rest of the Ikea stuff in. Now my living room looks even more ridiculous, but at least I have everything. My clothes are still out here because again, I cleared out that back room um, so that they can put the stuff together and found out, like I said before, chatter and how to write stuff. So anyway, it's a hot mess. I'm gonna show y'all though because this is real life right now. And it makes me so overwhelmed. I am so glad that I have filmed all of my videos for the next like week and a half because when you see this, you'll realize it's a no. Y'all, look at this. This is another one of the parts. These are some inserts. All these, this is clothes and stuff that I pulled from the back room. It's a mess, hangers. Here's more stuff. And here is more inserts. More here, more here. So yeah, it's a lot y'all. It's it's a lot, but I'm gonna finally get someone over here. I just um, messaged the guy uh, that's putting everything together. So hopefully he can get over here this week. Knowing my luck, it'll be next week because he be booked and busy, child. But anyway, um, look at my little blue shoes. <laughs> it's a mess in here, y'all. So yeah, the next time I show you anything that has anything to do with the closet, it should be put together. And honestly, <laughs> ah, it's so weird. Honestly, um, I kind of want to make some tweaks already, even though I've waited like two weeks to get the rest of these parts. I kind of want to make tweaks already. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a chill, okay? I'm gonna chill. Another bad thing is that my back room is still carpeted. I was gonna get the carpet pulled up, but it's just, it's too much. This carpet is like brand new, cause no, I don't walk in here except for to work from home. And so, because it's carpeted, let me show y'all. Okay, so as you can see, it's carpeted. Because it's carpeted, these are really tall by the way, they lean a little bit because of the carpet towards the back. So you can see how it's kind of coming away from the wall. So he's going to have to adhere them to the wall because by the time you put the inserts in here, they're gonna be too heavy and they may tip over and we don't need that. So, oh, let me zoom out. Can you see better? Yeah. So yeah, that's the issue there. And y'all know I wanna move, but what I've decided to do with this moving thing is just trust God like I did the first time, okay? I have gotten a lot of messages on my, um, you know, condo versus single family home video. And I think that was God telling me, wait on me, <laughs> because that's what I did that last, what is that? Oh, that's what I did the last time, is I waited on God. It's early y'all, by the way. Um, and so what I can actually do in the next, because I just got a car, how, I'm going to wait for about six months. Oh, I don't like the sound of that because y'all know I want things when I want things. Okay. But I think I'm going to wait about six months and revisit the home buying it's it's interesting because there's nothing out there that I want right now. But I'm ready for something. I just need more space. You know, more than anything, I need more space. Um, I'm already grown out of this place. But this is a great investment property. So I'm happy that I, you know, have it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I you know, just kind of letting y'all know what's going on in my head. But I think I'm going to wait six months. I can do so much financially within six months. Like, so much. Especially if I put myself on a no-buy. We'll see how that goes. But, like, I really, ha I could pay off my student loans. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't paid off my student loans. I mean, I don't like, I don't like the idea of my student loans. Like, they irritate me. 
because it's like mm-mm, mm-mm. that's why i'm not going back to school by the way nothing that i want to do requires me to have a higher degree than what i already do and so yeah i'm not against higher education of course i think like the most i learned from going to college it has nothing to do with the academia part of it uh it's just more so the life lessons that i learned um and just being on my own so yeah it's not a regret but it's like i paid a lot of money for this degree literally paid for the degree you feel me paid for it um so yeah even with the scholarships i had charlie wouldn't no mm -mm. not that tuition so anyway um yeah i'm probably just gonna pay off those which would be a huge burden off of me. I just don't like giving them my money. I just don't like it. Um, I know I owe them people, so you got to pay them people, you know? Got to pay them people. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on, guys. But the next time I see you, I should have a new closet. And maybe we'll do a tour, because I know y'all have been wanting a closet tour. I'm weird about touring my house at this point but i will show y'all the ikea pack system just so you can get an idea of how i kind of designed mine even though i want to redo it already because i had to kind of redesign it due to all the issues and i'm not 100 percent happy with it but it'll help a little bit so i know for me when i was looking for the ikea uh ideas i needed i needed that i needed visuals and stuff like that so i find that that will be helpful um just touring my whole house is more so like it's just something that i want to keep private yeah. i thought about it it don't sit well with me and a lot of you agree y'all were like no keep where you live sacred and ugh, there's so much going on in the world child um not that i'm a target but you know you just never know so yeah anyway i'll talk to y'all later y'all so oh we are out. We convinced him. <laughs> no, we're out um, at this Italian restaurant. We've been here before. It's called North Italian. We have a drink. Their drinks are super strong. So if you're in the Nashville area, you need to check it out because this is like a margarita and sangria mix. And then he has just a sangria really good and i think last time we were here we had the chicken parmesan i had the braised short rib and i was so disappointed not that it wasn't good but i just it wasn't for me so i think i'm gonna get the chicken parm tonight and then what else are we doing that's it that's it it's time to get night <laughs> and i do have my mask and obviously y'all saw he still got his mask on but i mean you can't drink and eat with the mask on so. mask up I look just like my mom in this camera. It's so crazy. Yeah. Last night I was like, yo. <laughs> yeah, change my hair. It'll be done. It'll be something different tomorrow. So yeah. I will catch up with y'all later. I'm on a winning streak. I get a date night. So we're here at Ruth Chris. You guys know this is my favorite place. We're waiting on our table right now. And I am ready to enjoy. So I thought I would bring you guys along. Oh, you end up parking over there? He, that was the dude from Valet. Oh. So they said five minutes. Okay, they found us a table. Yeah. But yep, yeah, so we're just waiting on the table. And yeah, it was a close call because we didn't know we needed to make reservations now that, you know, it's COVID. So, yep, excited to go in. And I haven't been in Ruth Chris since, what has it been, like four months? Mm -hmm. Like four, four five. maybe five months. So, yes. And I will be getting the infamous, what is it? Pomegranate martini. I'm excited. Are you excited? No, okay. mm -hmm. So I finally got my little closet system together. Okay, it has been a long Monday. You can see all my shoes are still right there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Cause I gotta like really situate this since I had to change up the positioning and everything of this closet. Cause I was gonna cover like a whole nother wall, but I just was like, you know what, forget it. So quickly, this is what we have. It's a smaller one, but yeah. 
so i need to fill it all up and i'll probably do like a little closet tour because you guys have been asking for a closet tour um i'm not bringing you in my bedroom closet but i will let you see this little office closet tour um and i think that it will be helpful because i know when i was looking child i just didn't know how i wanted to set things up or whatever so yeah um we're finally done so once everything is complete i will do a video for you guys so honey it has been a long journey and i'm so glad to be done with this <laughs> but yeah y'all i just wanted to let you know i'm done with that and i will talk to you guys later well, happy saturday so today is my girl kanika's birthday so of course we're gonna do a little brunchy lunchy um i'm trying to decide what i want to wear because i really want to go all out okay um because you know i don't get to dress like that but it's somebody else's birthday but my friends understand me too you know so i don't know we'll see i have this cute little zara dress look at my dress are a mess i have this cute um zara dress but it has really extravagant sleeves but it's just like a regular little mini bodycon so i've been thinking about wearing that and just some flats just to kind of tune it down or i may just wear my um green maxi norma kamali dress i don't know yet right now um i just let's see got out the shower so i'm about to put on my body butter i just got hair on let's put on my body butter this is a black owned brand and i love them i've been using them for years it's by lv and this is in the scent go getter okay go getter where's my chair oh my boyfriend's using it so yeah i'm about to go ahead and put this on do my makeup real quick and then i guess i'll come back and uh discuss what i'm gonna wear because i don't know yet oh i'm also trying to upload some footage yeah that's a hot mess what is this oh i'm trying to upload some footage so that i can edit a video tonight and have it up by tomorrow so sunday bonus that i always talk about and then we got to figure out fragrance we got to do all the things probably bring out a new bag not a new one but you know a bag i haven't been wearing because i've honestly been just wearing my little um pearl chanel or my little white basket bag. But I may bring out a Dior. Y'all know that's my favorite. But anyway, let me go ahead and hurry up. And okay, y'all. <laughs> this is my dress, okay? The dress is very plain, okay? But you can see these sleeves are doing a ton. So I'm like, should I really go here with it? I could do my Dior. These little shoes, possibly. Just for a little flat. You know I want to wear a heel. I don't really like this with this either. Mm -mm. It's a hot mess in this room because I haven't gotten it together since the uh, we put this closet in here. But, yeah. What shoe? Would it be these? I don't know. Okay, y'all. It's always such a terrible angle, right? I'm feeling very much Delina Exclusive or this one today, which is the House of Siage. It's real hot and Delina is so creamy. But I feel like I want to do this one. But I do it a lot lately. What about Chabot? Mm, that's not it. Mm, that's not it. It may just have to be this one. Creed is like I love, but this dress is not giving Creed. It's giving girly. Delina is really that one, but it's so hot. And the bees are going to be all over me. I can't do it. I'm going to have to do this uh, half of Siage today. I may mix her with a little bit of Time For It Lost Cherry just to give me a little bit more sweet. I know you're not supposed to do this, but oh, I want to. No, I think I'm gonna do time for it. Lost cherry, just a hint. For a little extra depth, you know. Now, oh man, I can't get my earrings. I can. Let me just pull this down. Okay, so of course, my watch, I'm gonna do the Roly. Uh, my thing is almost full, I really hope. Let me see, 
y'all sorry technical difficulties i'll be hey y'all so i'm here about to meet me of course we're both late so i'm gonna go see if he still got my table because i did put in a reservation i don't like to wait honey even though i'll be making other people wait <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll see y'all. So I'm here. So when the, you first come into the Hampton Social, they um take your temperature. So you can't come in if your temperature is high. So that's good. Um, they had hand sanitizer. They're only doing digital menus. So you know, good. The social distancing. I really wanted to sit upstairs because it's so hot down here. But I figured let me not be picky, especially during this time. So um, someone is sitting a couple tables over from us. No one sitting behind me, as you can see, but they're all the way back there. So I did take my mask off because it's hot down here. I may ask, can we go upstairs though? Because I think it's a little bit more air conditioned. And plus I have on this little short dress and these bar stools are not it, child. So I may have to go eggs. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, I hate to be a burden. But we're on a 90 minute time frame, y'all. Which I guess is not too bad. It kind of is. So we'll see. It's Kanitha's birthday, you guys. Well, it was yesterday. Was it today? No, it's today. Today. Yeah. I'm getting confused with us maybe going tomorrow. Happy birthday to the friends. <laughs> they got us on a time limit, y'all. We in here scrambling, trying to get a drink and a, and a meal. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is a little bug. That's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Paloma. I got the Paloma. I think it's like a grapefruit type of margarita. And then Kanitha, I'm gonna just turn it around. She has, what is it? Whiskey, it's like a whiskey sour, but some fancy with whiskey. I should have did that, but for some reason in the day, I like to do a little bit of a light liquor. So I'm going tequila, because I think I want to get some champagne. So we'll see. But anyway, we're over here just chatting, so it's nothing, uh, you know, interesting. Kanika okay, so ordered an appetizer. I think this is salami and I don't know. Do you know what it's called? Salami and something is what it's called. <laughs> salami and something. So she told me to try it. I'm going to try it, but I'm going to get the Brussels sprouts. I can't wait to dig into those. Pretty here. Look She's at this fine. mask. Yes. Let me move my little. No, don't touch the mask. Okay. That's not sanitary. <laughs> she yes, plays. I she love plays. this. And these teals. Okay. <laughs> and then you have a sandal. <laughs> a sandal. Oh, your hair is colored. Yeah, just a little bit. Get into just it. Just a little bit. No, it's very much so flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he tried it. Just a little bit. Just a little. I think you went all the way. As long as it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Can I get this out of the way to you? No, I think she wants that. You want to work on it? <laughs> I don't. Eat that. No, can you, you was about to go in. Because I want to eat She ordered a steak and freeze. I didn't order the steak. Oh. <laughs> I thought she ordered a steak. I thought about it, but I can't. I'm on my Prosecco. Richard got what I got, which is a Paloma. And I don't know what can eat. She haven't made it through her whiskey, so it must be strong. Yeah, I I drink. Drink. Not in a bad way, but you know. It's just still at the bottom yeah. of the pan. Ready. <laughs> oh my God, I really did not. Okay, guys, so I got the Brussels sprout with goat cheese. And I don't, should have asked for no nuts, because I don't like nuts in my food. Um, and then Kanita has the burger and I think Parmesan fries. Dang. On sourdough toast. And then it's a, a like a pesto sauce that we spread on. Okay. You said olive oil base? Yeah, it's an olive oil based pesto. Okay. I'm sure you could do like a basil pesto that's olive oil based. Okay. Yeah. All right. You do the most. <laughs> you do it the most. I really need to. I really need to know. I want to have this experience yeah. tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's called. It's called safe one. Be here. We'll be here. Okay. It's called take one home. No, take I need, I need it fresh tomorrow. Yeah, I would fresh. say stick the sourdough in the toaster. Okay. Spread it out. Spread the pesto sauce on it. Then you have your blue cheese. And then salami. And then you throw the kale and like a lemon Dijon vinaigrette. Okay. Add corn and um, 
Thank you. Thank you. Y'all make it. Make it make sense as to why this man asked for the recipe for this cold cut <laughs> meal. <laughs> you play. You play. You make that. That's what I said. It's not a recipe. It's a throw together. <laughs> Happy birthday. Wow. Happy birthday. <laughs> Guys, we're at the second place. It's real cute out here. Thank you. Richard's dream. Look at Richard. Richard looking very much so. Move forever. Here for it. Kanita's birthday. Y'all know she don't play around. Honey. It's a whiskey drink, okay? It's whiskey at the end of the day. You don't want them to see? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have a Paloma. Again, because I couldn't make up my mind. Legal problems. Indecisive. And this is our view. We're out here by the amphitheater. Third room. Third round, guys. Richard's not ready. I can tell by his face. Oh, it's a side eye for me. Kanita's ready, but she has somewhere else to be, so. This music. I'm so tipsy right now. <laughs> we got another drink. My friend, actually, the birthday girl, she swigged hers down because she has somewhere else to be. Y'all know I don't go nowhere, so honey, I'm still sitting out here. Um, Richard is in the restroom, but this is so good. I, it's a Capri Spritzer. So it has mm, Prosecco. Oh. She real cute. So yeah, I don't know. We may go somewhere else. I mean, this is real different for me. My friend Richard just said that um, a place that his friend owns you know, people are going there, so I, I don't know. It depends on how crowded it is, but yeah, we'll see. So, I am very feeling so much good. I know that didn't make any sense. I'm not that drunk to know that that was not proper grammar. Hello. Um, but yeah, it's been a great day. Like, I just, just connecting, connecting with my friends. It's just been amazing. Y'all know, it's my real friend. We've been friends since high school. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. I'll let y'all know what happens next. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all can see we're in the city. It's beautiful at night here. What is this in the Oh, that's my straw. I'm like, what is this? So yeah, we're um in the city and it's beautiful at night. So we're coming back to you. Love life.